Hello, I'm Paul and I'm going to explain this mechanical braille display device that I've made. It's basically what you can see. All the interesting stuff takes place under the plate. So I'm going to dismantle that and hopefully you'll be able to see and understand exactly how each component works. Uh, this bank of cams, I'm going to take away half of it so that you can actually get a view from a different angle and uh, you'll be able to see how each pin is controlled by the column locking slides which are controlled by the cam. You'll also be able to see the row actuators that move under every line of pin and uh, there are three actuators under every line. You'll be able to see exactly how they toggle a pin and uh, not toggle a pin if the, if the pins are locked in position. So I'm going to, I'll be taking this part and then you'll get to see what, what goes on underneath the top plate in the next few clips. This whole device, the cam portion of it is similar to a musical device, a um, Swiss music box and in the old days what used to be called a pianola and uh, where a cam would actually trigger and activate uh, the entire music box. So you'll get to see a comparison between those two as well. Thank you. This is a picture of the guide and spacer that has the locking slides in between. I have put in two slides over here. You can see they just move a little bit. That's all enough to open and close the thing. These are the two slides that are outside over there. I've mounted a whole lot of these slides here without the, without the guide. The guide would come over this like that. But for the time being, I've left it open so that you can see how the cams actuate. The, the slides are one end attached to the levers over here and the other end to the a spring, a comb spring like this. So that they, they are always in a position where they are locked. You can see that you can move them a little bit like that. And when the cam rotates, it toggles them sequentially. You can, you can I don't know whether you can see the little ripple. I'll go up to that. You can see the, you can see this, the top end of the slides, a little wave, a ripple passing over them. That that's showing how one slide at a time is actuated. This musical movement where you have a bank of cams over here toggling a comb spring. In this example, we've got a bank of cams over here, toggling the locking and unlocking slides in the sequence that we want. Here it's musical, over there it's sequential. In this picture, I've left the bank of cams open so that you can see the pole over here, how they pull. As the cam turns, you just watch how it triggers the cam. So just every revolution only one and it just lightly toggles the unlocking slide so it unlocks and locks immediately so that way the whole bank watch like a ripple that just passes along In this image, I've taken off the, the plate with the, the pins and things, but uh, you can see uh, these are correspond to the rows. Each of these slides is an actuator slide. It's got uh, they fit into slots on this base block, and they just have moved just about a, a millimeter to the left or right. Moving uh, one way pushes the pins up moving the other way returns to a non-actuating position. If the pins are locked, the spring lip it, it just move down, bend and buckle under there in the, into the space provided.